The FBI is releasing the latest crime trends for 2019. This report showing that rates of violent and property crimes for several upstate cities has dropped. 7 News reporter Henry Coburn gives us a closer look at these numbers. The FBI reports an overall downtick in crime nationwide between 2018 and 2019. Today I spoke with local law enforcement to see how those trends translate right here at home. The FBI breaks down the numbers into property crimes, things like theft, larceny, arson, and violent crimes. And so the violent crimes, you're looking at things such as uh, your homicides, uh, your, your rape, your, um, your murders, your rapes, your robberies, things like that, your aggravated assaults. According to new numbers from the FBI, there were about 3,000 fewer violent crimes in 2019 than in 2018. There were also 270,000 fewer property crimes than the year prior. Here in South Carolina, crime rates fluctuated from city to city. According to Spartanburg Police, the overall crime rate fell 17% between 2018 and 2019. So it's been a downward trend uh, over the last 20 years. It's been one or two years where there might be a slight uh, uptick, but for the most part, all of our crimes continue to go down. Uh, and those are from just the efforts of not only the Spartanburg Police Department, but also the partnerships that we have with the community. In Greenville, there was a drop in violent crimes overall, but an increase in murder and rape numbers. Greenwood saw a drop in both violent crimes and property crimes. Lawrence saw a drop in crime overall, but a slight increase in robberies. And for the second year running, North Charleston was the South Carolina city with the most violent crimes. Back in Spartanburg, Major Art Littlejohn says there is room for improvement despite positive trends here. He says larceny and theft are still too common. The way the community could help us with those things, I think our numbers could get even better. Uh, simple things like, you know, locking your doors. Uh, simple things like if there's valuables that you leave in your cars to take them out of your cars. Now, if you want to pick through the FBI data yourself, I'll have links to it for 2018 and 2019 over on our website, WSPA.com. In Spartanburg, Henry Coburn, 7 News. The city with the most property crimes in the state last year, Columbia with more than 7,000.